WA residents have been treated to a spectacular sight, a meteor lighting up our night skies. The bright green light streaked across the sky about 8.50 last night, many locals sharing their incredible vision online. Oh my God. What is that? I can look at the window. Can you see that? Wow. What was that? That was a meteor. The meteor was seen from Perth to Albany. Perth Observatory describing it simply as a bloody ripper. And Matt Woods from the Perth Observatory joins us now. Matt, did you get to see it? Actually, I was in my office and I uh, was actually talking to a volunteer and it was their wa uh, his wife that actually said, well, oh, there's a massive big meteor. I was like, of course, of, of course. Of course, you just office. couldn't get out fast enough. Yeah, yeah, and uh, then the phones started to happen and at the same time as the phone, my uh, the in email inbox was filling up and... Uh, Facebook message, uh, my Facebook messenger was going as well, so wow. I knew I was in for a late night. Well, you obviously didn't know it was going to happen, but can you predict when these things are likely to occur? Some of the larger ones, we get a couple of hours notice, but something like this, this, this is the size of a cricket ball, so... Oh, so it's uh, quite small. Yeah, it's amazing what, how bright it can get. So this was moving at about 31 kilometres per second, and uh, it started actually entering the atmosphere just around where Pemberton was, and it moved directly southwest over to the Southern Ocean. So, yeah, it's amazing, because it's, it's so high up, you actually see the whole southwest of Australia, uh, West Australia actually got to see it. Do we know exactly exactly where it landed? It actually disintegrated somewhere in the Southern Ocean, so uh, about 65 kilometres up. It was kind of very weak material, so normally something like this would be an iron meteorite, and it would probably last the whole journey and uh, just create a hole in the uh, on a paddock or something like this, but this was probably just a mixture of rock and iron. Uh, that green colour comes from the actual iron melting due to friction as the rock goes through the uh, the atmosphere. Right, so it's a mix of rock and iron, but, but what actually causes the meteor? Uh, so while it's in space, uh, it's called a meteoroid. While it's in the actual uh, atmosphere, it's called a meteor. And when it hits the ground, we call it a meteorite. So it's a little bit of a tongue twister there, but it's the actual the friction of, uh, of the rock going through the atmosphere. So if you rub your hands together really uh, fast, you'll get a warm uh, hands, but um, obviously you can't you know, uh, rub your hands at 31 kilometres per hour uh, per second. So this rock is literally melting and uh, it just gets to the point where it, it just evaporates. And uh, it had an, a, quite an impressive dust tail as well, something that normally you just see in ca uh, camera photos, but people were actually seeing it with their own eyes. And the images, they've gone wild on social media, but there have also been reports of people seeing it as far away as Bali. Now, is that possible, Matt? Not really. Uh, that might be another one. <laughs> um, but this one, probably as far north as probably Cervantes might have been able to see it. It was quite low for us in Perth Observatory. Uh, so we, we kind of knew it was down south when we were having a chat with the Curtin University Desert Fireballs team. And uh, yeah, it's, unfortunately there was no sonic boom, which can, can happen, but... Uh, it's, it's amazing that we have these technologies and we can actually work out where it came from. It, it was, it's, all of it was as far as the or asteroid belt and wow. it came into the inner solar well, system. Well, it sure was a sight here in Perth. Matt Woods, keep your eyes on the sky in the future. Thank you. I, I will. <laughs>